Hello everyone, um, this is, is Nip again and this is our third IGTV um, I'll just have to check out our questions Q&A regarding okay, okay, wait, wait. This is our Q&A from I think last day's Q&A uh, Is equipment grounding conductor permitted outside the raceway? Is it permitted? Yes or no? So we have the answers here. Uh, we have 67% for yes, while we have 33% for no. So that's a huge number for yes. Okay. So I guess uh, everyone's been doing their research or it's based on their experience. So let's check it out if it's really the right answer. Okay. Well, under normal situations, the answer will be no. Since uh, checking out 250.134 of the NEC, equipment fastened in place or connected by permanent wiring methods, fix or grounding, well, with letter B with circuit conductors, we must install the grounding conductor with the other conductors that is forming that circuit. So on this graphics that we have included, it can be seen that the equipment grounding conductor, this green one here, is running through inside the raceway together with its associated circuit conductors. So yeah, there's a point in being the answer as no, but that's during normal conditions. There are times where we are allowed to do that, so at some point, yeah, some situation, the answer is yes, where an equipment grounding conductor can be installed outside raceways. And it is specified in NEC 300.3 conductors, grounding and bonding conductors. So let's just have to try to check this one. Um, equipment grounding conductors shall be permitted to be installed outside a raceway or a cable assembly where in accordance with the provisions of 25130C for existing this one is existing and then we have 250.134b exemption number two for dc circuits because for dc circuits we're allowed to run our equipment grounding conductor outside the raceway and then for equipment bonding conductors they are also allowed to be installed out of raceways with accord in accordance with 250.102.102e uh, okay so we'll check one by one these articles that permits us to run the equipment grounding conductor outside the raceway so let's find it out but before we find out uh, i would like to shout out uh, sparky troy for allowing himself to share his knowledge regarding this topic well i had just posted it uh the question the question I had just posted the question uh, I think last day or yesterday and Sparky Troy really answered it quickly by sending me a snapshot of that article 300.3 so yeah thanks Sparky Troy and for all followers you might try following him also he posts a lot of uh, great things also amazing installations plus uh, he's a good one a lot of um, experience that we can learn from him yeah so moving on 250.134 that's the uh, first condition that we're trying to fix on um, we've got two exception exception one exception two which allows us that we can in which allows us allows us to install equipment grounding conductor outside the raceway and in such cases 250.130C were around to separate the re from the to run separately from circuit conductors for DC circuits we can run it separately too okay let's just erase these lines okay first rule 250.130C uh, this is the rule we're in we're trying to replace a non-grounding receptacle with a grounding receptacle uh, there's a difference between the two one is having a grounding terminal while the other one is 
doesn't have any grounding terminal so uh, it's basically like this um, this one is a non grounded and this one is a grounded and this article 200 uh, this article just tells us that we just need to replace this one by this one so just replace this non grounded by the grounding outlet Let's go back here. Okay, here are the provisions. The equipment grounding conductor of a grounding type receptacle or a branch circuit extension shall be permitted to be connected to any of the following, which are any accessible point to the grounding electrode system. We'll discuss that later on. Any accessible to the grounding electrode conductor, equipment grounding terminal bar within the enclosure where the branch circuit for the receptacle or branch circuit originates or it can be from a separate branch circuit or if I if you are on the um, supply side of the service equipment then you can tap onto the rounded service conductor too okay here is the great example we're in number four of that article an equipment grounding conductor that's part of another branch circuit that originates from the enclosure where the branch circuit for the receptacle or branch circuit originates. So in such in this case we have two branch circuits. They're separate branch circuits since we have two overcurrent protection device. Um we want to run the the grounding conductor from this outlet going to this outlet right because uh, these are two separate conductors so let's draw first the this is the original non-grounding receptacle so as you can see there's no grounding terminal uh, we'll just have to change that because that's the purpose of the code changing it into a grounding receptacle so we have that third terminal for grounding and we just need to install a grounding conductor for this one how well the first one you can run a grounding conductor uh, inside the existing conduit if you can but most of the time that will be hard since most of the time this one is uh, might be not accessible or the conduit is the conduit size is not enough to handle more conductors so i guess let's just leave it we cannot use that for this example now what we can do is install this uh what we can do now is run an equipment grounding conductor outside then going through here okay then from that going to there so we are now connecting to the equipment grounding conductor of the other branch circuit which is this one so two branch circuits separate branch circuits but you're allowed to do that when we come to the bottom part okay another example will be connecting to the uh, grounding electrode conductor I guess and grounding electrode itself okay just like this example here mm. this one is originally a non-grounding receptacle but now it's a grounded receptacle so it's a tree prong already so we just need to have the grounding there running through here outside to the other branch circuit there you go since this one is grounded okay then from that point it's grounded there so nothing fancy there uh, just pretty straightforward you're allowed to extend that grounding conductor to the other outlet okay i just hope everything's fine okay next okay another rule will be having it connected to the ground being electrode and grounding electrode conductor 
So let's have here a let's the outlet here. Uh, yeah. Oops. It should have been a tree terminal because we want the grounding, of course. <laughs> this is pretty straightforward. Yeah, this one can run inside the conduit if you wanted to, but let's assume that we cannot, okay? Due to some physical constraints, I guess. So let's move it here outside. This one can connect to any accessible point to the grounding electrode system, right? So this is the grounding electrode system, which is consist which consists of a ground rod or multiple ground rods. So, oops, yeah, I already deleted it. So let's redraw that shit. All right. Or you can have at have it connected to any accessible point within the grounding electrode conductor. Okay, but I've got to emphasize this one. You need to be, um, you need to have a splicing of this that's acceptable by the code. Can be by exothermic or uh, any acceptable point. Compression, yeah. Okay, that's really good here. Next, just another tip for you guys. You can change a non-grounding receptacle with a ground fault circuit interrupter type 1 uh, since uh, this is allowed by the code right since the purpose of equipment grounding is um, to prevent uh, not not to prevent but of course to clear up the ground fault that is existing to the system so a GFCI will be a good one and that is covered in and you see 4 or 6.4 uh, we're not gonna cover that maybe next time since this is not the purpose of the video okay another one here exemption number two we had just talked about exemption number one which allows us to run the equipment grounding conductor outside the raceway this one is two this one applies to DC circuits right the previous one is applied for uh, replacement of non-grounding receptacle okay so for these circuits you're also allowed to do that same thing run the equipment grounding conductor outside the race raceway or cable okay this one is the circuit conductor here running through that while this one is the equipment grounding conductor there so they run separately and it's allowed by the code seems to unfamiliar with these these systems then this is a good chance for you to know something about okay okay next this is the last one uh, it's about 25102 grounded conductor bonding conductors and jumpers e installation uh, wherein we're allowed to install the bonding jumper of uh, not less than not more than six feet long okay so for example we have a motor here huh? wait let me change that a bit the color this is a motor here okay that's a motor then we have a 10 gauge wire running here which is our equipment bonding jumper okay you're allowed to run that mm, not more than six feet okay or 1.8 meters for metric guys, of course. Well I, <laughs> well, I use metric a lot, so yeah. So yeah, you're allowed to do that. Um, I think that ends our video. So I hope this is not our last IGTV. And I'm thinking that I will probably post this on YouTube too. Mm, thinking about new topics to discuss. Um, just getting a bit used to it you know and uh, I'm not used to speaking to uh, videos like this but let me try to share some e snip codes that I posted previously gaining knowledge is the first step to wisdom sharing it is the first step to humanity well after all that's the purpose of our page so thanks guys 
but last but not the least, man, uh, I need to shout out my idol, Mr. Erickson Lui, the owner of Erickson Construction. Right now, he has 91 followers, 211 following. Uh, let's make that a thousand, I guess. They are a residential and commercial property development, procurement, general construction, and quality control, sand and gravel supplier. Just look at how amazing those trucks, right? those tons of loads of uh, sand and gravel there. Uh, maybe we'll do a review review pe uh, review video of Ericsson Construction soon. Let's check his account uh, in the future, okay? I think that will be a good one. Well, for all other guys there uh, that wants to be shouted out, um, just send us a DM if you want to get featured. I'm also planning a IGTV feature and a YouTube feature, I guess. Yeah, we'll see the future. Thanks, guys.